Chit with the deal, my people. You know it is Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you another one. And in this video, I will answer the question that has been posed to me over and over again. And that question is: Will Tyrion Lannister ride a dragon in season seven or season eight? Is he going to be one of the heads of the dragon? So let's do it. <laughs> Now first off, I will say that this will not be like one of my normal videos. This is basically just going to be me talking right off the dome to you answering this question. Will Tyrion ride a dragon in Season 7 or Season 8? So we're going to base this basically on the show and not at all of the book situation. So this is more of a show situation. Will we see Tyrion Lancer on the back of a dragon? during this show at some time. Now I know that it's a very popular thing for Tyrion to be on the back of a dragon and most fans do want Tyrion on the back of a dragon but in all honesty it really doesn't make a lot of sense to me for him to be. Now when we add everything up about the three heads of the dragon and basically it comes down to that is Tyrion one of the three heads of the dragon right now I'm willing to say no he is not though it is a lot of stuff that points to Tyrion being on the back of this dragon I really can't see how they would want him on this dragon or how that's going to happen in the show or how that's going to help in the show so if you're taking like the color of the dragons and the descriptions of the dragons into account, then yes, there's no doubt that when we look at those things that it definitely does point towards Tyrion Lannister or Jaime Lannister. We know that the dragon, it says that it sends its scream, roar, sends a hundred lions running. It uh, has gold eyes that look like molten gold. Uh, it's called the white dragon, even though its color is cream. All these things point to... Tyrion or Jaime Lannister riding this dragon or being a dragon rider. There's no doubt. And obviously, it's the smallest dragon of them all. So I'm not going to tell you that if you're looking at those things, that this is the reason why you think Tyrion's going to ride a dragon. Then, yes, I could see every point that you're making here. And I could understand you why you would think that Tyrion would ride the dragon if it came down to it because of these things. But when we're talking about the show and we're dealing with just the show situation, I can't see any of those things factoring in whatsoever and being the determination of whether Tyrion Lannister rides the dragon. So I don't think that we can look at that color of the dragon and all the things that they show in the book to see if Tyrion's going to ride this dragon in this show. Now, in order for Tyrion to ride a dragon, one thing must be true. And that one thing must mean he has to have Valyrian blood in him. The only way he can have Valyrian blood in him is if he is somehow the son of Ares. That, that, that's it. There's no other way around it. Now, are we going to say that Tyrion is the Mad King's son? Is that possible? I guess it's kind of possible, but I think that if he really was the Mad King's son, I think this is something that they would have to touch on in the show. This is a major point that they could not leave out of the show and somehow would have to be shown in the show. Uh, to this date, they haven't even hinted at him being anything but a Lannister. And I think that's because he is a Lannister when dealing, especially in the show purposes, he definitely is a Lannister. I don't think we're going to have another hidden Targaryen pop up. And if we did, I don't think it would be Tyrion Lannister. It's more likely that Jaime Lannister and Cersei Lannister are the Mad King's kids more than Tyrion Lannister not being being the Mad King's son. For story purposes, it's better that Tywin, the person that he never wanted to be his son, is actually his son. The people that he did not, that he wanted to have for his kids are not his kids. And then it also brings in the factor that if that's the case, then we have the Jaime Lannister killing the Mad King and Tyrion killing Tywin Lannister, so they would both have killed each other's fathers. And when you look at it that way, it would make more sense to do it that way. So if I had to pick up any one of them being uh, the Mad King's son, I would have to go with the twins over Tyrion. And therefore, for that reason alone, Tyrion can't ride the dragon. I have other videos that I go into details that, about this. That's who are the three heads of the dragon. Is one of the videos, and the other video is called Dragon Rider. 
In both of those videos, I touch on this exact topic. That's why I'm not going to go into details on it right now. You can watch those videos if you want to go into details. This is just my thoughts as if I'm talking to you and we're chilling at a bar, having a drink, and you ask me this question. So, I think that it's not a good likely chance that Tyrion will ride the dragon. I think that Tyrion will obviously, as we see, make up the saddles for the dragons, for the dragon riders themselves, whoever they are, which I do believe Jon Snow is one and Daenerys would be the other. So he's definitely going to make a saddle for them without a doubt that, you know, you've seen him make one for Bran. It would be no different than that. I know people want to say that it seems that he has some type of connection with the dragon. I don't think Tyrion has a drop of Beleriand blood in him whatsoever. If you ask me, uh, as I said, he is exactly what he has claimed to always be. And he is Tywin Lannister's true born son. So when we see Tyrion Lannister ride a dragon in Game of Thrones Season 7 or Game of Thrones Season 8, the answer for me, Tony Teflon to Don, is no. There's no way that he will be on top of one. Now, if he's on the dragon now can he be on the dragon be given a ride by like daenerys or someone give him a ride or something like that of course something like that can happen but him holding the dragon down by himself him just being on the dragon telling the dragon what to do and then going and attacking someone that's not going to happen folks it's not going to happen whatsoever Tyrion, that's not his job that's not his plan he's just more of a diplomat i know we've seen him in the battle of blackwater through uh swing an axe and do something but that was just for that that was really for more lannister props than anything else and, he, and that's why they had him do that so you tell me put it in the comment section do you think that Tyrion lannister will ride a dragon in the show, this is show only. Do you think he will ride the dragon season seven or season eight? Please put in the comments what you think. And if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up this. Please spread this across the realm and please subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace and stay sexy.